good morning from Bahal, where I'm at the Tagbalaran seaport right here. About to take one of these boats across the water to Cebu. About a two hour journey. That's not my one, thankfully. My one's coming in about 40 minutes and I'm just waiting here in this departure lounge. And it's pretty decent actually. It's fairly chill compared to the airport departure lounge. Better, better. Okay, little drink to pass the time as we wait for the boat to arrive. It's got this mango coconut milkshake. 150 pesos. Here it is, my ocean jet ferry to Cebu. So it's about 20 minutes before this is due to leave. So I assume everybody's going to get off who's came from Cebu. And then we're all going to board. I'm traveling in business class. So there's two classes, I believe, economy or tourist class, I think they call it, and business. And the price difference wasn't too much. It was like 800 for tourist class and 1200 for business class. So we'll see the difference once we get onto the boat and see if it was worth the extra 50% surcharge. So I'm not sure what happens with my suitcase. If it goes with me to my seat or I have to, there seems to be a bunch of guys there loading suitcases. I don't know, does anybody else yeah, nobody else seems to have like a big suitcase like me, so I don't know. I pop. I take the suitcase on with me or not? This. I can Your take. Business? Yeah, business. Yeah. Business. There's enough space. It's upstairs. Upstairs. Okay. So he says there's enough space in business for the suitcase. I guess if I was traveling tourist class, I would have to. Oh, thank you, pop. Thank you so much. Oh, very good. Very nice service here, eh? Okay, let's check this boat out then. Hi, I'm in 1E. 1E, alright. Yeah. Business class Business upstairs. Class. Upstairs, okay. Yes. So this, I guess, is the regular class. There's two by five by two. So nine seats across. We'll see the difference in space. Okay, well, business classes. Passengers up the stairs. Let's hoof. This 25 kilo bag up here. Oh, so I'm in the first row, that's A. Ah, okay, so it's two by two by two. So six seats instead of nine, you get you pay 50% more for your ticket and you get 50% more space. I think that's it. And I'm in one E, which I've, I think I've got the worst seat in the whole uh, I think I've got the worst seat in the whole cabin. Because my legroom is blocked by these stairs. That's bad, isn't it? I, I literally got the worst seat in the cabin. I got no legroom. Look, every other seat has every other seat has legroom apart from mine. That's that's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. Check my. T look at this. That is. That's no good at all, guys. That's no good at all. I'm going to check my ticket to make sure it really is one e. Yeah, one bloody E. One bloody E, that's it. So, I didn't choose my seat, they chose it for me. If I knew, <laughs> if I knew there was a bad seat like this, I would have uh, not chosen it. So now you guys know, if you ever take this and you're booking your seat, don't choose one E. You can literally choose any other of the, how many rows is there? Goes from six. So there's six times six, 36. You can choose, one of the other uh, 36 seats. I had a 1 in 36 chance of getting stuck with this, guys. And I got, who knows, maybe there's not somebody sitting next to me and uh, I can move over. But the, the next ferry after this, obviously this is an early fer ferry, 11.40. I tried to book the one at one o'clock so I could sleep an extra couple of hours. But the business class in that one was full, so I'm assuming that was, a, that was two days ago as well when I booked it, so I'm assuming this one might be full as well um, by now. So, yeah, we'll see. Look, there's plenty of people. There's plenty of people boarding right here. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna be packed. And to, as far as my luggage goes, I guess it can just go here. I guess the good thing about the front, the front seats, is that I got plenty of room for the 
the suitcase here. Other people don't have that. I guess this is just a general a general luggage space. So maybe the guy sitting next to me also won't have any any space if he if this guy loads up a, a bunch more suitcases over here. I don't know if that's what he's planning on doing. Well that is the control room right here though. I'm, I'm getting chased. I think the driver's coming. Hi. <laughs> I think he's chasing me away. I was just having a wee look. That is uh, that is where the, the ship is driven, steered, navigated. What's the correct verb? Guys, it's where, it's, it's where the driver's driving the ship, up there. But let's check out these seats, guys. So you've seen the seats downstairs. I don't think they were padded like this. These are cushioned chairs and they recline as well. There's no fancy features. There's no like uh, electrical ports or anything like that. No inflate entertainment, no in-boat entertainment. Ah, you in right. one F, yeah? Okay, I'll let you in. My neighbor, right here. You got plenty of legroom. Me, I got, the, I got this thing here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. yeah. But um, yeah, there's some life jackets under the seats. But yeah, it's but this is this is where my feet are going, right here. Yeah, you get long legs. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. I mean, just sit like this. It's only two hours. about two hours we'll be in Cebu. It's two hours, right? Yep. Two hours we'll two be hours. in Cebu. I think there is one ferry that's faster. There's the one that goes in like one and a half hours, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. super quick. But it's only, it only leaves at like 6.30 a.m. or something like that, which I'm gonna be awake for that. This one has more regular schedules. Uh, yeah, they, they do this every two hours. Ah, yeah. Yeah, this, this ferry. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's this one, there's, but if you want to save money, there's a cheap one that takes four hours. I think it's like a freight ferry, where they're moving like uh, container uh, containers. Uh, they uh, actually uh, call it a uh, Roro. Ror yeah. Uh, it's slow, slow but cheap, right? It's barge. Yeah. Uh, where the cars ride. All the, that's so you can get your car on it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah if you go but as a there are passengers. If you go as a passenger, it's only like 400 pesos or something 400. like that. Yeah, so you can, you can save money. Like yeah. that, and just like the buses, like the Victory Liner bus, they play movies on the on the ferry. That's a big thing in the Philippines. When you're on transport, yeah. they're always playing a movie. Especially for a two-hour uh, yeah. boat ride like this. All right, so it's enough yeah. the, the movie. And two hours. It is full. I think all the seats are taken. So it's if you come on the this ferry and you want to take business class you should book in advance because if you just turn up there's not going to be any seats left in business class yeah. um, I booked two two days before um, this particular schedule uh, they, it's they, always you take this a lot right because yeah, you're back yeah, and forward I, for I, business I do that uh, once a week so. and it's always full the business class not all the time ah. this schedule 11.40 schedule. Oh, 11.40 time. Because it's is lunch real. time. Yeah, and it's time people are checking out of their hotel as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, uh, the 1 p.m. ferry yeah, that's was... The one that's yeah, the 1 p.m. ferry was full. And the one earlier. 10.40. Yeah, yeah there's 10 a 10.40. Yeah, it gets okay. full. So is this the pace we go at or does it get faster? Oh, yeah, we go faster. We go faster than we this. We go faster. This is a shallow part, so okay. we're just going slow. Bye bye, Baho. Okay guys, let's check out the facilities here. I don't know what to expect, let's see. Oh, it's nice and clean. Check this out guys. That's not bad at all. A nice business class bathroom here, check it out. Very nice. And I've just noticed there's like a little outdoor part here. Hello. I didn't even realize there's another part upstairs. It's like open air. This is cool, there's hardly anyone here. And you get the breeze. Let's see if I can get a good view. Guys, we're almost at Cebu. We're almost 
there, that is the boo right there, right ahead of us. It's going to cost 172 on grab. There's a bunch of people shouting right there. I'm going to get to the exit and see. I think we're still inside. This looks like a road, but I think this is actually, we're inside the terminal here, the ferry terminal. So I'm going to get outside. I know it's 172 on grab, so we shall see. They're all looking at me. Sir, you think taxi? Sir, you think taxi? Yeah, I'm going to get grabbed. Grab? Yeah. Already booked? No, I'm booking now. I'm going to get from here. Taxi? How about taxi? What? Taxi. Uh, how much? Where you go? Hold the end. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. How much? How much? Oh, 350. <laughs> I will take grab 170. You're my idol. You're not. If, if I'm your idol, give me the fair price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a discount. Yeah, yeah. No, you've got a motorbike. I need a car. Yeah, no, no problem. No, I'm taking a car. I'm taking a car. I'm taking a grab car. No, no, no. I'm taking a grab. It's only 170 on grab. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a grab. Okay. I forget you. What's your name? Dale. Nice to see you. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. As I thought, like they're trying to charge double. I don't think he was trying to take me on a bike. I think he was trying to take me on a a motorbike. I can get an air-conditioned car for half what he was charging, so... Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to stand to await a pickup from a grab. I think probably just at the corner of the street here. I'll put that 7-Eleven in as the pickup point. I can't take a bike, look, I have a massive suitcase! Oh, you just want to take a picture? Yeah. Ah, okay. okay but good. I don't have a picture. You don't have a phone, so how are you going to take a picture? I don't have a phone. on your page. What? I will grab to you on your page. You will grab my page? Yes. Oh, you want to take a selfie? Okay. Okay, there's a selfie. He's going to see this video and he's going to screenshot it. And that's going to be a so selfie. Where are you going now? Okay, yes. I'm going to go to my hotel now. What? Okay. Yes. I'm going to get my grab to my hotel now. Uh, you already have a book? No, I'm booking now. I'm booking now. Okay. Okay. Nice to see you, brother. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you, bro. Okay, good. I always follow your feet. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Airport? I just booked the grab already. Thank already you. Grab. Thank you. Okay, in four minutes, he's coming. He's rated 4.9 stars. Fantastic. And it's going to cost 165. 165. I'm waiting Where for my grab. Going, sir, I'm going to hold at the end. I'm waiting. My grab is picking me up here. Really? Yeah. So that's you're a blogger, so yes. it's more nice if you ride a motorbike. A uh, motorbike, but look at look at this. We can put it in a front. front. Uh, it's okay. My grab is coming already. He's coming now. Really? Yeah, already coming. Follow. I like. I abuse your. Really? Yeah. 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 Like, share, and subscribe. He. He already he already follows me. Yeah. And likes and subscribes. Yeah. And shares. Oh, here. Everything. He does everything. Everything. Good. Every year. Uh, oh, you're also a motorbike yeah, driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, so you guys all. You guys are motorbike taxi for this area. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. No, 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 Grab is coming. Today, look, I have luggage, so I'm taking the car. Easier for me. You're not hungry? I'm hungry. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> you have uh, Gucci sunglasses. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, I know, he has gold sunglasses. Like, uh, look like a model from Italy or something. 
<laughs> modern? Yeah, one. from Italy, yeah. This from... is a model here in Cebu. Really? Oh, yeah, really, yeah. You know producer pigs? <laughs> no. Uh, that's a local brand. Okay, he's the model for it? Yeah. yeah okay. My brand, you want mom, cheeks? Mom. I want what? Cheeks. Cheeks? Cheeks. Cheeks. Uh, cheeks. Oh, cheeks? You, you call girls cheeks? Yeah. Cheeks. 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 Oh, okay. I can find it easily by myself. No problem for me. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, no thanks. Where's your price? Huh? Where's your price? I have already. I have you already. Ah, how much price? 40 pieces. Huh? Look at this. The price. No. Try. This a glass? This a glass, no. huh? Yeah, uh, it looks like plastic no to me. Looks like plastic to me. No plastic. It's a glass. Oh, I don't this. know. What do you think? Where's this guy? You think these are good? He knows about sunglasses. It's okay. You didn't even check them. It's good. It's okay. I think it's spray. Yeah, I think plastic. It's spray. No plastic? Uh, no plastic. Okay. It's a glass. It's okay. No uh, plastic. It's a uh, quality. It's a plastic. Uh, okay, oh, I can yeah. give you 50 oh. pesos if you want. What? 50 pesos. No? No? 50 pesos? I don't really need them, but if you're More selling them cheap, I would take them. No, no, okay, thank you. 150. No, 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 it's okay. I don't need, but thank you. They're very nice, they are nice. Okay, okay. Hi, how are you? Taxi? No, no, I've got a grab coming. 100. What? 100. No, no, I want 50. Huh? My grab is coming now, my grab is coming. My grab is coming. No, my grab is coming, grab. Uh, he's phoning me now. Oh. Okay. 100. No, it's okay. It's you, a different plate number. GAC. It's not him. It's a different plate number. Which one? Oh yeah. No, no, no. It's GAC 17. So I don't know which one is my actual grab. G A G A C. One seven zero six. He's calling. One seven zero six. Oh, this is my grab here. Okay. okay, this is my actual grab. Okay. Okay, okay. okay this is me. This is me. Okay. Oh. What's that? You're hundred for what? For what? Ah, you're not hungry. I can see you're not hungry. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi, sir. Okay. Thank you. It's yours there, Dale? Yes, I'm Dale. Uh, okay, friendly style. We're in the front with the grab driver. Thank you for picking me up. Oh, nice AC. Nice, clean, comfortable car. That's what I want. These guys were trying to take me on a motorbike with a big suitcase. Can you believe it? With a huge suitcase. They were trying to... And they tried to charge me like 350 as well. A big job. Yeah. I know the way is to take grab, guys. Nice, comfortable. Air conditioned. Good. Okay. So we're going to Holiday Inn. Okay. Yeah. So you're American, sir? Scotland. Ah, uh, Scotland, UK. Uh, you meet Scotland before here or not? Yeah, yeah. You did? So yeah, okay. You meet all nationalities, all, right? Because you're a grab driver. All kinds of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Edinburgh, Scotland. Yes, Edinburgh, you know. <laughs> yes. But for pr you need to pronounce like this, Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Edinburgh like that, yes. Oh, yeah. Don't don't say Edinburgh, say Edinburgh. Ah, oh, because of Borough. Is yeah, Borough. Borough, yeah, Edinburgh, Borough. Uh, like that. If no. you if you pronounce like that, the Scottish people will be impressed when they hear you. Edinburgh. Say Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Good. Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh. Yeah. So you've met Scottish people before in yes. your taxi? Yes, oh, yes. Okay, good. Today I came from Bahal. What part, sir? What part? Yeah, Panglao. Oh, Panglao. But I took the motorbike and I went all over. Oh. Yeah, choc chocolate hills and such how, like. How much uh, did you rent? The motorbike? Yeah. Uh, 400 per day. Oh, but uh, a good okay. one. It was only 2,000 kilometers on the clock. That's that, that kind of? No, Honda Click. Ah, Honda Click. Uh, but a new one. Okay. It was nice. I have uh, friends there working in UK. In the UK, they're working. Yes, oh, uh, Filipinos are working everywhere. Nurse. Every country, they're working. Nurse. Nurse. Ah, nurses. okay. Yeah, yeah. We're bringing in a lot of nurses because yes. we don't have enough of our own. So we're bringing <laughs> in from overseas. Yeah. In London and uh, Birmingham. Oh, okay. Also in uh, Northern Ireland. Northern London Ireland. London Derry. Yeah. London Derry. Okay, yeah. good. London Derry, they're going to as well. Part of UK. Is it? Yeah, it's part of the UK. Yes. Uh, Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> the taxi bomb there. Oh, the taxi. So it's the taxi's fault. It's always yeah. the car who's behind who will be blamed. So this taxi is uh, just a small bomb. Yeah. I think it 
just like uh, a little bit <laughs> dented the bumper or something. His own one. His own bumper. It's gonna rain soon, right? The sky is looking pretty black. There's a low pressure. Yeah, so. This whole week has been rainy. In Bahol, I don't know about Cebu, but in Bahol it was super rainy. Only yesterday here, we, uh, ah. heavy downpour, late night. Yeah, and the forecast is for more, right? Coming. Yes. Yeah, I have bad timing for coming here. But it's okay because uh, it's very hot. <laughs> so it's good that uh, we have a uh, rain. <laughs> no, but even when it rains, it's still hot. It's just hot and rainy. It's, it's, not, like it, it's not like it cools down or anything. Because it is the cold, uh, yeah. cold place. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like Baguio so much. Uh, when okay. I was in Baguio. Yeah. So far, it's my favorite place in the Philippines, Baguio. Yeah. Just because I can walk around all day and not sweating, you know? Yes, because the malls there don't around. use uh, air condition. The malls, no air condition. Yeah, they don't need it. They don't need air, con <laughs> they don't need air conditioning in Baguio. Uh. Even in my hotel room, I was sleeping with no AC and I felt good because most places I'm sleeping with the AC on and I wake up with a dry throat, dry skin, <laughs> dry eyes, you know, from the AC. And in Baguio, I didn't have to run the AC, just natural, just the that's natural uh, The natural temperature was perfect. So That's the summer capital of the Philippines, yeah. Baguio city. If I, was, if I was to live in the Philippines, I would live in Baguio, you know, if I had to choose a home. In the Philippines, that's uh, where that's where it would be. And Baguio, I don't know if there's another place. Is there another place like Baguio, like this, that's high up and is cold? Yes, there's a there's a there's a lot, but but uh, not developed like Baguio. Oh, Baguio is a developed one. Yes, and because now it's major for tourism, right? Domestic yeah. tourists mostly. That was uh, developed during the American time. Ah, uh, right, yeah, I seen the park is named after like an American... Burnham Park. Yeah, Burnham Arche Park. It's that's after... architect Burnham. Uh, yeah, he, he's the American architect, right? Yes, uh, yeah. that place was uh, built for rest and recreation of the servicemen. Ah, uh, right. So and then, it, then it went, when the servicemen left, then it went to being like a domestic yes, tourism yes, place. Yes, that's right. Ah, okay. I only learned that now. I didn't learn that in <laughs> Baggy. I only learned it from the man in Cebu. <laughs> the man in Cebu told me. Uh, because, uh, okay. I yeah. want a mystery. Yeah. Have you been to Baguio? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. He's not been. Ah, okay. But you know about you know about the history. So yes. you're you're really into history about the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. So Cebu was the first place that the Legazpi landed, made the settlement, right? Yes. This is the this oldest the, city in the Philippines. Yeah. The first the uh, first Spanish and colonial oldest, settlement right here in Cebu. The oldest uh, street is here in Cebu. Yeah. I will go. I will go investigate the, the oldest street. Do you know the other the oldest street? Yeah, I, I don't know the name of it, but I know it's here somewhere. It's in Cologne, Cologne Street. Cologne, yeah, Cologne Street, yeah. Just like Magallanes Street, yeah. named after Magellan. Okay. But uh, many people don't know who is Cologne. Yeah, who is Cologne? It's Christopher Columbus. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> His native name in Genoa, Italy uh, is Cologne. Ah, uh, so they named the street after him. Yes. Christopher Columbus. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Is there many old buildings still on the street? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I will go. I will go check that out. That's a historical uh, place Co in Cebu. Cologne, the downtown. Cologne Street. Downtown uh, area. Yeah. I've not traveled outside the Philippines, but I know all the places in the world, all the countries, including uh. their capitals. Oh, really? Oh, let, yeah. me, let me test you then, let me test you. Okay. Uh, what is the capital of Australia? Canberra. Oh yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> what is the capital of Austria? Vienna. Yes, good. <laughs> uh, what is the capital of Luxembourg? Luxembourg. Yes, yeah, Luxembourg <laughs> is the capital because it's a city and a country. Yes. Uh, what is the capital of... Oh, I'm trying to think of... What's a difficult one? What's the capital of St. Kitts and Nevis? Basitri. I have no idea, maybe, I guess it's correct, you seem confident. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't even know myself, I just, I just tried to find one that's, that even that I don't know to try and get you. Okay. Uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, Harari? Harari, yeah, Harari. Yeah. Damn. You know them all, right? I can't, I can't choose one that you don't know. Um, Laos. Laos? Laos, uh, Vincien. Vincien, yeah. Oh. Mm. It's Laos. Colombia. Colombia, Bogota. 
Hey, Papa Sinter, yesterday from Bogota, the couple. Really? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. He wins, he wins. I can I don't I can't think of one he won't know. Jamaica. Kingston. Kingston, no. Okay, good. So what you studied it or No, uh, it's uh, embedded in my mind, in my memory because uh, I I love uh, geography. Uh, okay, that's why when I got in your car, you said, "Oh, you're from Scotland, Edinburgh." Oh, that's okay. right. That's right. So everybody who gets in your car who's international, oh, you can tell them their yes. capital. That's oh, why okay. They were I know their. Oh, the Bogota people. <laughs> yeah, they got the car, and you're like, "Oh, Bogota." I know the yeah. uh, the color, the Medellin, Medellin cartel of Pablo Escobar before. All the right. Drugs. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. So you know a lot about countries, but you've never traveled outside of the Philippines. Yes, uh, yes, oh. that's right. I know all the countries, including the, their capitals. Oh, that's good. Maybe I, I will uh, miss some, some because of memory. But then you will remember again. Yes. Uh, yeah. Even yeah, states, yeah. capitals. You know the, the the capital of each state. Yes. Oh, okay, Florida. Philippine provinces. Florida. Florida, Tallahassee. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Incredible. Huh? Incredible. Yeah, you're good. It's holiday. Holiday Inn. We'll be chilling at the Holiday Inn. Okay, sir. Thank nice you so meeting much. you, sir. You too, brother. Are you what's your family name, sir? Dale. Dale Philip. Philip? Yeah, like Philippines. Your, na your name is also. First name, just like a first yeah, name. Yeah, like a first name, but it's a surname. Oh. Like a, like a first name, but it is a surname. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I get my suitcase and back. Right. Okay. I'm always nervous getting out of taxi when I have the suitcase in the trunk in case they just like forget about it and drive off. <laughs> you know. What? Okay. You got it. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, there, nice there. to see you. Okay. Thank you so much. You. Okay. That's good, guys. A nice driver. Okay, so this is my hotel, Holiday Inn, right here. Let's go and check in. It's okay, I got it. I, I got like three quarters of the way there, so it's all good. Okay, let's go and uh, check in then. Okay. Hi, how are you guys? I'm checking in. Yes, Mr. Philip, I can see in here your diamond to meet you. Yes, so diamond. So for this one, you book for at least five nights, right? Yeah, five. You don't have any girls. Look at this. They don't have any girls. All men. <laughs> Six men. Where are the pretty Cebu girls? Because they're inside. They're inside. We go out later on. Okay, you will change. Okay, so the evening. I think the evening shift is girls. We'll see. But just now we just have six, we just have six dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to check out this Cologne Street Cologne anyway. Street. Yeah, the taxi driver told me about this. It's like the oldest street in the Philippines. And also you can also check uh, Santonini Church. Uh, Santonini Church. Santonino. Yes. Santonino. Little Jesus, Black Jesus. Black Jesus? Yes, really? <laughs> so I've been recommended to go and see the Black Jesus yeah. and it's black because it was washed up. Yes. So it was washed sure. up and it turned up like that and yeah. now they've like uh, made it like yes. a... It's just same thing in Manila, and the Nazareno. Okay, I'll exactly. check that out as well. It's yes. near the Magellan's Cross. Okay, thank you. But it's a small, it's a baby Jesus. Oh, it's, it's inside the church? Yes. It's inside the church, okay. We'll go and, we'll go and check that out exactly. as well. Okay, it's my card. Yes, okay. here you go. Thank you so thank much, you. guys. Thank you. Okay, shout out to RJ and Paolo, but not to the rest, right? They told me they wanted a shout out, but not to the rest of the guys. So thank you, RJ. Thank you, Paolo. Okay, let's go and check this room out then. I'm paying $75 a night. That's what I'm paying. I'm just expecting an ordinary holiday end room. Nothing special, just a small, comfortable room with a good working desk and internet. That's the main thing. When you stay in one of these chain hotels, you're kind of Almost guaranteed, almost guaranteed a good working desk and internet. Let's see if they've got it, guys, here on the 18th floor. And I think this is 1815. I think it's 1815. Yes, it is indeed 1815. Let's check this. 
rumoured guys. I've made a right mess of that, haven't I? What have I done? Okay, here we go. See. Doing things one handed, it's difficult. Right, let's check the room out. And it's kind of what I was expecting. There we go. It's kind of what I was expecting. Small but comfortable and there is no working desk. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, there's no working desk, there's just this. Which I suppose is good enough. At least you've got like a big uh, a big space. And yeah, there's a power socket there. So okay, I mean that's fine. I'm definitely gonna be comfortable enough there. I, I was just thinking it would be like a space there for a working desk. It's more of a, a coffee table. But yeah, most of all the ends, the room is kind of small like this, but the furniture, the bed and everything's always comfortable. Like, you know, here it's like a, a big open wardrobe thing. It's like they're trying to maximize space, basically. And then they always give you the two different types of pillows, firm and soft. So you can combine the two, combine two soft ones, have two firm ones. That's always good when you're kind of like, when you're fussy about how you sleep, you know, you can always try and make yourself comfortable. And the bathroom, it's nice, it's all clean and no overhead rain shower, unfortunately. It's just the kind of attachment thing, but it's a fairly decent one. It looks like a fairly decent one. And then the herbal shower gel, shampoo and stuff. Okay, I think I can be comfortable enough here. But most important thing is internet speed. And here we go guys, my office for the next week. Right here, my working desk, which I can easily slide my legs under. Unlike in some hotels where the desk and chair don't match. If you watch my previous vlogs, I've been stung by that several times, but not here, it's good. It's a pity about the round coffee table type desk. You just lose so much real estate like here. You know, it's, 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 it's awkward for your hand here on your mouse. It's just it's just not that comfortable compared to a square desk or a rectangle desk, is it? But it's decent enough. I can be fairly comfortable here. I can be fairly comfortable here. I'm not too comfortable with the internet. It's a bit slow. I've got eight megabits download, almost 13 megabits upload. A bit on the slow side. When I read the reviews for this hotel, it said the internet was fast. Oh, they've got fast Wi-Fi. But the people writing the reviews, they never say what speed it was. It's just like, probably they were checking their email and it opened really fast and they were like, oh, fast Wi-Fi. So yeah, people in the reviews, they need to start running the speed tests and say, oh, I got 13 megabits upload and eight megabits download. And then you know, okay, it's actually a bit slow. It's actually a bit of a slow internet. It's not that great, but uh, I can make do with it. I can make do with like 10 megabits is kind of like the limit of what I can make do with. And keeping me company here is my wee teddy bear. Guys, I got this as a gift from the first hotel I stayed at in the Philippines, the Somerset. On like the third day, they came and they gave me a tray with a teddy bear and like dried mango and a bunch of like, like snacks and gifts and stuff. It wasn't in the vlog because I'd already done the hotel room tour and stuff a couple of days before that, but it was very nice of them. They probably usually give this to kids, like the little teddy bear, but I've been taking it around and I normally just leave it at the bedside. But today it's at my, my working desk, my wee Ascot cubby it's called. I think Ascot are the, the chain of hotel that, uh, that Somerset was part of, but yeah. This is, this is my office for the next week, guys. And my view for the next week is of this. Let's see. Ta-da! It is a kind of office slash condominium type area. As you can see, loads of condominium buildings there. These are like office buildings. And in the middle is a fancy mall, the Ayala Center Cebu. I just looked it up on Google Maps and people are saying that's the best mall around town and have a look at the area. Down here it's nice big open roads, nice clean pavements. I think it's just very clean, very well developed. So yeah, I think I'm in the, the fancy area. Maybe maybe you could compare this area to like Makati or something like that in uh, Manila. But definitely a lot less, a lot, a lot less busy. There's less people, there's less traffic. It looks very peaceful. I'm looking forward to getting out and having a look about. Just getting settled into my room right now, guys. And 
Yeah, they should really have a working desk. That's what I was thinking as I was looking at this room. They should really have a working desk. Because instead of like the space for a working desk, they have this long sofa, which is nice. You could probably sleep on that. If, uh, I don't know, if, if you were a family or something, you could probably have like um, mum and dad in the bed and then have like the kid just sleeping here. In fact, does it pull out or something? No, it is just the chair. Maybe that's why they have that, so that parents can bring their kids. But yeah, I prefer they just had like the one sofa there and then this was like an actual proper working desk with the the nice view but uh, hey who am i i'm not an architect i'm not a designer i'm just a guy who lives in hotel rooms 365 days a year um what do i know what do i know guys what, what i know right now is it's like 3 30 p.m i need to get out and do something in the city before the day ends don't want to waste a day uh so yeah uh i'm not gonna go to the mall too boring a mall's just a mall I'll go there eventually, but not right now. I fancy going to that Colon Street. Like two different people have mentioned it by the time I even checked into my hotel. The taxi driver and the um, hotel receptionist. So yeah, apparently right now it's not like the night market type time or, or something, but I looked up on Google Maps and it looks like an old street with street vendors and such like. Maybe I can get some snacks, some street snacks or something down there. It's about four kilometers away, guys. Let's make our way there. Here I am guys, Cologne Street, the oldest street in the Philippines. This street has been a street since 1565 when the Spanish set up their first colony here in the Philippines. They set up this street first and everything else, everything else in Cebu has been built all around this street, Cologne Street, named after Cristobal Cologne, Christopher Columbus, named after that man who he would have died like 60 years before this street was established, but they named it after him. And this is what it looks like these days, guys. It's basically a big old shopping street. Kind of lower end retail shops and eateries, a few street vendors like that. The buildings themselves don't look old. They're definitely not from the 1500s. They're more recent buildings, guys. So. I don't see, I don't see a lot of history around guys. It's basically looked like, I would say it just looks like any other street in a big city in Asia, you know? People selling bits and pieces, socks, baseball caps and such. Those baseball caps ain't too bad, are they? How much are the baseball caps? 130. 130 each, oh, okay, it's good. I like the Adidas one there. And what else is there? North Face. Uh, what is one, this? This one, 150. Yeah, what is it? I don't, I don't know what this is. I've never seen before in my life. I don't know what it is. Marijuana design. <laughs> it is marijuana, huh? Design. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I think if I wear this, I, the police will come to me. I know. Yeah, the police will bother me if I wear this one, I think. Okay, got Slipknot, US Army. I think I like this. I like this one, the Adidas. I like. Okay, so basically two bucks, two dollars. Can I try? Yeah. Let's see if it looks good. What do you think? Good or not good? She says it's okay. I'm getting soaked by something. Something's dripping on me. Something's dripping on my eye. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay, something's dripping here. That's why that's there. I was standing, I was standing right over it. I'm getting soaked. Okay, 130, yes. 130, okay. Let me find some earrings. We're getting earrings. Ah, how much are those? 110 pesos. 110? 10 pesos. Only 10 pesos, really? Oh, wow, that's good. It's really good. Wow, only 10 pesos. Okay, that's fine. There's 150. You can keep the change, Auntie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, that's nice. Got myself a new baseball cap. I wasn't really looking for one, but. I just saw it, I saw she had some good ones. And then I asked the price, the price was cheap guys. 130 pesos, two bucks for a brand new, a brand new Adidas cap here on the Philippines' oldest street. Cologne Street, your man is shouting because it's also Philippines' loudest street. And if I wasn't shouting, you wouldn't hear a word I was saying. So, uh, 
Well, it's, a bit, it's a bit quieter here, a bit more chilled at the, the Mickey D's. Let's give a high five to Ronnie McD. Okay, there you go, Ronnie. High five from your man. And let's continue. Hi, guys, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay, oh, I've got a juice vendor right here. That looks good. And it's fresh because they've got fresh mangoes right there. I think I'll get a... I think I'll celebrate my new Adidas cap with a, a fresh mango juice. Hello, Auntie. You got, you got a customer before me. What are you making here? Papaya? Melon, melon, cantaloupe. Melon, cantaloupe. Yeah. Ah, it looks like a... Cantaloupe. It looked, it looked, oh, it's this cantaloupe, yeah. There they are. I thought it was papaya by the color, but it's that, that orange melon. Maybe I'll go for that then. That's, she's just made it fresh, so maybe I'll go yes, for that. Fresh. Yeah, can I have one glass of this? But you have a, a customer before me though. Serve her first. I don't want to be accused of skipping the queue or anything. Okay. How much is one cup? This one is 50. Cover, oh, you have different sizes. Cover. You have different red sizes. Cover. Red cover. That's the biggest or no? Biggest. Oh, 50. Oh. Okay, 50 pesos, that's good. It's like 90 cents for a fresh, fresh juice from a fresh melon. And you add this as well, right? That's, uh, oh yeah, evaporated creamer. Okay, they always, even though fruit is already sweet, it's like in Indonesia, they always add the uh, condensed milk or something to make it even sweeter. Oh, okay. There you go. Hey, thank you so much. The sweet drink from the sweet lady. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's good. And I saw there she she wore the glove to pick the straw out. So she cares about hygiene. That's nice. That's what you want to see when you're consuming things from street vendors, guys, as we continue strolling down this Cologne Street right here. Like is like I said, it's kind of lower end retail stuff and a lot of shops selling the baseball caps i guess that's why they're so cheap guys the competition anywhere where everyone's all selling the same stuff you always get it cheap don't you guys okay so i think i'm going to walk up this side of the street check it out and then i'll walk back down the way on that side of the street guys while i consume oh that's a mall like a wee mall in there all right well uh, consume uh, melon juice. It's mm. good, yeah. Oh, yes. Like a ripe, ripe, ripe rock melon. It's like the... It's like the rock melon. But even sweeter because she's added the condensed milk. It's delicious. Mmm. got Paris here, Paris Pinoy. So I still haven't tried Paris yet. Paris is braised beef with rice. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I might go there after I've checked the street out because I'm trying to tick off all the Filipino cuisines that I haven't tried yet before I leave the country. Still got to try Paris and a few other things like pork lechon and bulalao. Uh, that soup with the bone marrow. Uh, those are the three things I really need to try before I leave here. Ah, that was lovely. I could have another one of those. Or I could have something else. I'm looking around for something else. This part of the road seems to be pretty derelict. There's nothing going on. A lot of shops closed and stuff. So I might be heading towards this is a long, long street, but this is probably the end of it. And I was just sitting there consuming my juice and somebody else told me that there's a night market here on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And he says they stop all the cars and this will just be like one big market. So I will definitely come back here and try that. What is this guy selling? Some kind of fried, looks like a pakora. Looks like a Indian style pakora, yeah. 
just the colour of it, the colour of it reminded me of uh, Indian street food. But uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be much else going on here. I'm probably going to just cross the road and start walking back down. Guys, is it safe for me to just run out here or not? It better be because I'm doing it. It better be safe. Okay. Hey, bro. Okay, good. I was looking for a 7-Eleven to find a rubbish bin, but I found some just random shop. Hey guys, what's up? What's this? It seems to be popular. Patties. It's like a bakery. It seems to be popular. What do they sell? Let's have a look. Oh, all sorts of Ubi stuff. Ubi bar, Ubi roll, Ubi everything. Okay, maybe I'll pick some of these up. Look at that, guys. Look at that right there. Maybe I'll pick some of these up to take back to my hotel with me. I didn't bring my bag. I didn't bring my bag, so I can't just like buy stuff like that and carry it around in my hand. I only have one free hand because one is for the camera, guys. So I can't be walking around with bags of shopping. Can I? I need the. I need my. I need my free hand for um, eating, for eating and drinking local food and drinks, which is what I'm looking for right now. I expected there would be more on the street, like more street vendors and stuff. Just looking at Google Maps, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to come back when they have the night market for that. Oh, I do see Lashawn right there. That's what I've been looking for, guys. Some lovely lechon. Except I want to find the restaurant where they're actually, you know, roasting the pig. I don't want just want to go into like one of these places where it's already made. And they just serve it to you on a plate. No, I want to see that pig roasting. So that's what I'm on the lookout for while I'm in Cebu. I didn't really see that in Manila, but everyone tells me Cebu is the place for lechon. I see this restaurant a lot. Well, I've been traveling in the Philippines. It must be some kind of chain restaurant. What is it? Is it like a Nando's or something? Some kind of like spicy chicken. In a cell. I don't know, but it's definitely like a big chain that must be popular here. Oh wow, I've just walked like one minute down the street and there's another one. There's another one of that same restaurant. And they've got Halo Halo as well that starts at only 39 pesos. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out at some point, guys. Lots of stuff that I've got to try out. What oh, are these guys doing? Rubber stamps? Yeah, what are you, oh, it's rubber stamps. Oh, okay, that's cool. You do custom, custom made ones, okay, or it's just, okay. or it's just these ones that are available. Leyte, oh. Leyte State, oh, okay. Leyte State University. Oh. oh, okay. Very cool. Oh yeah, I think he's like custom oh, making oh. them or something. Okay, thank you for letting me look. Thank you, guys. Very nice. Oh yeah, he's like custom making one there. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, so you can get yourself a... Oh, there's loads of them, look. Loads of these rubber stamp guys. So, if you're in the market for a rubber stamp, this is where to come, guys. Cologne Street, opposite from Mickey D's. In between Mickey D's and Jolly B's, guys. This is me veering off Cologne Street right now. Guys, I think there's not much to see here for a tourist. I would say if you're a tourist and you want to see Cologne Street, come here for the night market that's apparently on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. I'm gonna come back for that, but for now I'm going to go for a wander elsewhere, guys. Check it out, they still sell DVDs, Blu-ray discs and such like. Yeah, you don't really see that anymore in other parts of Asia. Mobile disco shop right there. Yeah, you don't really see... Um, when I first started traveling around Asia, like 2010, 2011, I, every market they were selling like copied DVDs, copied Xbox games and stuff. But you never see that anymore. Everything's all digital these days. Digital downloads, streaming, or just people just download their stuff. It's so so easy to download stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're still selling still selling DVDs there. Oh my god, another one of these. Another, another bloody inner cell. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have to try it at some point. It looks like it's uh, Nando's. It just looks like Nando's, plus you can get a halo halo for dessert. Guys, okay. Yeah. I, 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 my mind was actually on that Paris, the first restaurant I've seen, the Paris. But uh, yeah, maybe it's a sign. I've seen so many of these restaurants around this inner cell. I think I've got to try it. There's something that's going on here. I don't know what this place is. Hi. Good afternoon, Mystic. I have to take the head off. Okay. Ah, okay. You can wear back. What is this? It's a church? Yeah. It's a church. Basilica de Santorino. I think that's where the guy said the, the black Jesus was. I was about to put my cap straight back on, like I do when they, they tell me to put on the mask and then I take it straight off afterwards. But I think, uh, yeah, from what I remember from when I was a kid, you can't go into a church wearing baseball caps. So that's what it is. Basilica de... Basilica del Santo Nino. So, yeah, very quiet here. There's a lot of people praying. Let's walk to the front and have a look. I don't think there's any service going on or anything, guys. It's just people just come here to sit and pray. Hi, how are you? Oh, this is beautiful out here, the garden area. Very nice. Ah. You, you're from Cebu? No, Davao. Ah, so you came, you're a tourist um, from, Min, you're from Mindanao? Yes. Okay, hi, how are hi. you? Hi. Little kid. Hello. What is he eating? Bread. Oh, ubi. Yeah, ah, okay. Ah, okay, he's eating ubi. Oh, well, these, it's like Japanese yes. style. Yes. Yeah. You try it? You, okay, thank okay. you so much. Okay. okay. She's offering me one. Yeah, these are like, um, I think it's like Japanese style, but they've got ubi in it, so it's Filipino. <laughs> Filipinos love ubi. Mmm. No, it's like a spongy, spongy, spongy sponge with ubi cream. It's an ubi cream that's in the middle. Mm. Yeah, sure. Mmm, yeah, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Thank you for the ubi fish. What do you call these? Manju. Manju. Oh, is this a Filipino thing or I think this is Japanese. Japanese. No. Yeah, I think it's no. Japanese because I've seen this. No. Uh, no. Like Japanese no. ice creams. When I was in Tokyo, they'd have like it was more like a wafery uh, texture though in Japan. Later, my brother oh. take a picture with you. Oh, your brother wants to take a picture with me. Yes. So, I so you see me on Facebook. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this is like a garden area for the for the church. Oh, it's nice. Mm. One is a an blogger. Hello. You eat, you eat more. You tell me to eat more. She's like, eat. she already gave me one. She's like, eat more, eat more. Yeah, you eat really? More. I eat more. Oh, you're yeah. so generous. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're giving me more of the manju. Ice, ice manju. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. These are lovely. Mm. Anyway, picture, you take picture of that one. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, tasty, ubi. Take a picture. Why do Filipinos love ubi so much? <laughs> Why do you love ubi so much? Because oh, we are rich. This one's not ubi, it's like... Um, <laughs> Filipino people are rich. This is custard. Rich foods, yeah. rich foods. Rich foods, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much thank for you. the manju. <laughs> this is a custard one, it's lovely. What's your name? Philip. Philip? Yeah, Dale Philip. My son and daughter and grandson. Oh, this is your family. Ah, so you 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 came from you came from Mindanao to oh, visit yeah. here as a tourist. Mm. Ah, okay, good. So they're also tourists, but domestic tourists. I came from China. <laughs> when? Vacation there. You were vacation there for oh, you, seven months. This year. Uh, I came here last Sunday only. Okay, nice uh -huh. to see you guys. Nice, nice to, to see you. I'm gonna you. walk around this church area. Okay. Yes, I'll see you next time. Okay, this is nice. And these people here, they're queuing to get into the chapel to pray. There's like a praying area, but... I think no, no video allowed there. Okay, there's a huge, big complex here. It's more than just this Basilica de Santo Nino. It's a whole big complex, and I've just read on Google I was looking for signs inside that would tell me something about the history, but I had to go to Google and I found that this was the first ever church in the Philippines. This was the first ever one in 1565. Hi, hello. Hi. So, the same year that they 
came here, the Spanish, they built the church in the same year. So that's how important religion was to them, guys. Now, how important food is to me, that is what I'm going to go hunting for right now. Hi, Doug. Hi, how are you? What is your channel? Dale, Dale. Well? Subscribe, subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dale yeah. Phillip. Yeah. Okay, yeah. subscribe, How much subscribe. Uh, only a few, but uh, if you if you if you subscribe, I will have one more. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. thank you, <laughs> thank you. Hey guys, how are you? Yes. Good. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm headed back towards that Cologne Street. That's it, right at the end, the Cologne Street. I'm heading back up there. Maybe I'll go eat that inner cell stuff that I keep seeing, guys. That's really what's on my mind right now. Unless I see anything better on the way. Okay, here we are. Right ahead of us. Mang Inasal, guys. Hi, Paul. Good afternoon. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it's one of these you order and then take it to your table. Like McDonald's or something, I guess. Kind of informal. Hello, can I have the chicken in a cell, please? Sir, only this one. Oh, you don't have that one. Yeah. I wanted the regular one. Is it the same flavor, but bigger? Bigger. Oh, but the same flavor? Yes. Ah, okay. But the best part. It's the best part? Oh, the meaty, the meaty part. Okay, I'll have that with the drink. With drink? I'll have the iced red gulaman. We only have Coca-Cola, Sprite and Coke Zero for drink. Okay, I'll have Coke Zero, Coke Zero. then. I also, I want the Hello Hello. Oh, that's small and that's regular. Okay, I want the big one. Okay. I'm gonna get the big one. Oh, and they have... Okay, I think I think that's gonna be enough for now. Pe Petro. Yeah. Zero for drinks and hello regular for drinking. Okay. Dengue. Good. Three hundred four. Three hundred and four. Okay. Just thank you. Skin. I thank wait you. or I come down. I wait. Wait. Okay. Thank you. Wait, okay. Wait. So you get the you get this. I've got an upstairs part. I'm gonna go up and then they bring it to your table. That's good. So I was saying it's like McDonald's, but you don't get that kind of service in McDonald's. I did get that kind of service in Jolly Bee before they brought the food to my table in Jollibee. Okay. Oh, it's popular, guys. Popular, there's like multiple branches of this restaurant all in a small space. And yeah, it's packed full of people. Okay, let's just rock up right here. Oh, it looks like this guy comes around with a bucket and he gives you more rice if you need it. He just comes around with that. The people who are eating, they finish their rice, he just gives them an extra scoop. That's good. At some restaurants you get free refills on your drinks, here it's free refills on your, on your rice. Oh, this is mine here. Wow, look at this halo halo. Look at the size of this halo halo right here, that looks amazing. My Coke Zero, and this the chicken in a sal. Oh, uh, okay, what is this? Is it, uh, noodles? Oh, uh, okay, I don't know. Is it talabo? Okay, some very sauces and such like. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, okay. This is what I've got, guys, right here. Okay, I'm gonna eat this as quickly as possible because I don't want this halo halo to melt, guys. That's the thing. I can see it's starting to melt already, so I'm gonna try and eat this chicken as quickly as possible. And I see most people here are eating with their hands. Almost everybody is eating with their hands. And there's a hand wash station right there. So that's what I've done. I've just washed my hands and then I'm gonna, is it hot? Not too hot. I'm just gonna dig in with my hands, guys, and eat this big old, big old piece of chicken right here. Mm. Yeah. It just tastes like a grilled chicken with, um, Sweet sauce, it tastes like that lechon manok that I ate in Bohol. It just tastes exactly like that, the rotisserie chicken. So they're saying here, this is the grill expert. They're saying it's like a, like a grilled meat place. So that's what it is, grilled chicken. And it's approved by Jane De Leon, whoever she is. She's that woman right there, that's who she is, lovely. 
Mm. Yeah, the sauce is kind of sweet. It's kind of got like a sweet glaze to it. Mm. And the crispy bits right here. There you go. Mm. And this stuff, I have no idea. It looks like little rice noodles with what is on top? What is on top, guys? I think it's fish. Pieces of white fish and a kind of slightly spicy sauce. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if you're supposed to eat this with your hands. It's a bit me it's a bit messy. Yeah guys, fork for the noodles, hand for the chicken, that is the method, that is the method. I think soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce. Hallo, hallo guys, the hallo, hallo. Wow. So there's green jelly, there's red jelly, there's... Looks like caramelized banana. There's leche flan. There's Looks like red beans some other kind of yellow beans Looks like there's some cheese in there and of course the ubi the ubi ice cream right in the middle there Wow went straight for that ubi ice cream. So I uh, am straight for the ubi ice cream mm. Yum 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 just what I need guys been walking around out there all hot and sweaty this is the antidote to a hot sweaty walking about a hello hello mm. it's all this shaved ice on the bottom it's so cold but it's starting to melt already i tried to demolish that as quickly as i could i didn't want this uh, to be all melty by the time i got to it mm. It's almost a soup already, look at it. It's almost like a milkshake. I should just be drinking this, guys. Yeah, I need them to put this in a big cup and give me a straw. I can just walk around outside and drink this. Guys, it's delicious, it's so sweet. So the first time I had Halo Halo, it was a lady who, her friends were, a lot of diabetics were her friends, and she made it with very little sugar. It was very little sweetness. It tasted kind of healthy, actually. This. It doesn't taste healthy, but it tastes a lot sweeter. Oh, it's so cold, so sweet, so delicious. Mm, and I really like these, the, the little red sago jelly pieces. They're really like strawberry, intensely strawberry flavor. Mm. Mm. Demolished, demolished guys. Hey, thank you Paul, thank you. Okay, that was lovely guys. That was lovely! Feeling nice and satisfied now. Hope you guys are nice and satisfied with the vlog. I'm still shouting because, like I said, this is Philippines' oldest street and also Philippines' loudest street. So I'm just gonna have to be Philippines' loudest vlogger right now, aren't I, guys? But I hope you guys, got a bit of an obstacle to tackle here. I hope you guys are satisfied with the vlog and I'll see you on the next one, won't I? I'm gonna stock up the mini bar from 7-Eleven and go back to my hotel.